Welcome to day four of the beginner yoga journey, coming back to center. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on connecting. We're gonna be starting off in our easy seat with our legs crossed, hands on our knees, and slowly closing our eyes, connecting with our breath, breathing in and out through the nose, focusing and coming back to our center. Now, you can open your eyes, and I want you to place your right hand on the right side of the mat. Inhale, your left arm up. Rotating your chest upward, looking upward, inhaling, connecting with your breath, Feeling that nice stretch Exhale. along the left side of your yeah, side body. Inhaling, coming back up to center, placing your left hand down on the left side of the mat. Inhaling, your right arm up. Exhaling, side stretch over to the left. Feeling that stretch in the right side body. Looking up towards the ceiling, rotating your chest up towards the ceiling. Inhale, focus on that 360 breathing, expanding the rib cage. Exhaling, coming back down to our easy seat. Inhaling, both arms up. Exhaling, twisting over to our right. Left hand comes to our right knee. Inhaling, elongating our spine. Exhale, gently twisting. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, coming over and twisting over to the left. Right hand comes to our left knee. Inhaling, elongating our spine. Exhaling, letting go. Taking notice of how we feel. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, bring your hands down in front of you. Forward fold in your easy seat position. Allowing everything to just let go. Releasing your neck. Maybe rocking it back and forth. Releasing the tension in your lower back. Sinking into the mat. Inhale, slowly come back up. Now we're gonna come over into our tabletop position. Knees are under the hips, hands are under the shoulders, spreading the fingers out wide, dialing the hands out, engaging your arms, engaging that connection between your hand and your shoulder. Connecting with the breath, focusing on that 360 breathing, expanding the rib cage, inhaling, Exhaling, letting it all go. Good. Now we're gonna inhale our way up to cow, opening the chest up, slightly looking up, exhaling, curling over into our cat. Inhale, opening the chest up, dialing our hands out, maintaining that engagement. Exhale, tucking the tailbone, arching the back. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Coming back to our center and our tabletop, we're going to sink into our child's pose. Hips over the feet. From here, you can keep your knees close together, sinking into the mat. And we're gonna slowly start to walk the hands over to the left, taking a nice deep inhale, feeling it stretch in the right side body. Exhaling. Letting it go. Good. Now walk the hands over to the right. And again, connecting with the breath. Taking a nice deep inhale. Feeling it in our left side body. Exhale. Release. Good. Now we're going to come back to our tabletop position. And here really going to focus on engaging our core, engaging our muscles. So dialing the hands out, 
we're going to lift our right hand off the mat first, bring it out in front of us. And then if you feel up to it, you could straighten out your back left leg. You can keep the foot on the ground. And if you can, try to lift up your left foot. We're gonna hold it here for a brief moment. Come in, bring the elbow to, bring your right elbow to your left knee, holding it here for a brief moment, bringing it right back out. And now we're going to bring our right hand over to our right side and our left foot over to our left side into this nice bird dog variation. We're maintaining our core, maintaining activation, and then coming back down into our tabletop position. Taking a moment here to catch your breath. And now we're going to slowly start to walk our hands out, bring our chin to the mat for our puppy pose. So you're gonna to want to maintain your hips over your knees here. You're gonna have your chin on the mat or your forehead on the mat. You're gonna feel this nice stretch in your upper body here, maintaining your core, taking your fingers and pressing them into the mat so you could activate your arms more, activate your upper body more. Good. Now you're going to come back into your tabletop, slowly walking your hands back, dialing out the hands. You're going to come into your downward facing dog by tucking your toes and bringing your hips up towards the ceiling. Good, adjust your feet accordingly. Again, dialing the feet out. We're gonna pedal our feet here. So you're going to straighten out your right, bend your left, straighten out your left, bend your right, and just pedal here. Feel the nice stretch in your calves and in your hamstrings. And just slowly start to walk the dog. Coming back into our downward facing dog, engaging, engaging our core here, pressing into the mat, and then slowly come back into our tabletop position with our knees below our hips, hands below our shoulders. Again, engaging and dialing out. Again, activating our hands by dialing them out. And this time we're going to lift up our left hand out in front of us, straightening our right leg behind us. Now you could either keep the foot on the ground the whole time, or if you wanna push yourself just a little bit, lifting up the foot. Now from here, you're gonna to want to bring your elbow to your knee holding it for a brief moment here, really engaging your muscles here, bringing it back out, straightening out your left arm, straightening out your right leg. And now this time you're gonna bring your left arm out to the left side and then your right leg out to the right side. You're gonna hold it here for a brief moment and you're gonna come back down to your tabletop. Good. You could take a little, little breather here if you'd like. And we're going to slowly start to walk out our hands in front of us again, maintaining our hips over our knees, and we're gonna come into our puppy pose. So forehead's coming down to the mat or the chin's coming down to the mat, actively pressing the fingers into the mat, engaging that upper body, engaging those muscles, recruiting those muscles, firing them up, feeling that nice stretch in the upper body and feeling those muscles being activated. Connecting with your breath here. Slowing it down. Breathing in and out through the nose. We're gonna slowly start to walk the hands back into our tabletop position. Connecting with the mat, dialing our hands out. We're gonna come into our downward facing dog again by tucking our toes, pressing our hips towards the sky. Maintaining our position here and walking the dog again. This is a fun way to just release our legs, connecting with our entire body, just moving back and forth. Now slowly coming to a stop. We're gonna come back into our tabletop position, knees coming down to the mat and slowly come into your child's pose by bringing your hips over your feet over your heels. 
forehead comes down to the mat, sinking down to the mat, taking a moment here to connect with ourself, taking a moment to come back to our center, allowing all the chaos and all the thoughts in our life to just be and focus this time, this moment of now, just being here. Good. I want you to slowly come to your back. Roll over. Just take your time. Stretching your legs out in front of you, shaking them a little bit if you'd like. Connecting with your breath. I want you to bring both of your knees towards your chest, hugging them. And I want you to make little circles in one direction. Just really loosening up your muscles. Change the direction. Just really connecting with yourself, appreciating the hard work that you just put your body through. Good. Coming back to center, slowly stopping, holding both knees. We're going to release our left knee, straighten our left leg, bringing both hands to our right knee. We're going to slowly twist over to our left. Left hand remains on our right knee, opening our right arm and looking over to our right side. And just releasing into the twist. Connecting with the breath. Now come back up to center. We're going to switch sides. So straighten out the right leg, bend the left knee, place both hands on the knee, bringing it close to your chest. And now we're going to twist over to our right side, right hand on the left knee, opening up our left arm, looking over to our left hand and just sinking into the twist. Connecting with the breath, allowing the twist to open up our body. Inhale, coming back to center, straightening out both of our legs, Straightening out both of our arms, palms facing up, as we prepare for our Shavasana. Just sinking into the mat. Observing how we feel. Focusing on coming back to our center. Focusing on appreciating ourselves, appreciating this moment in time, and just being. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can stay here as long as you like, and I'll see you on the mat next practice.